What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Roller Coaster Tycoon. We're in March of Year 3 in Derpington's World. And it is time to build out the park a little bit more. We have almost $75,000. That's a lot of money. Um, increasing that park value was a good idea. Let me go ahead and jack these up first. I want to get some more people in the park. Doesn't really matter what we choose. We're just going to pick something and roll with it. It'll get people in the door, get me more money. Three rides on roller coaster number four. I kind of wish I could make the line on this guy a little bit longer. Because um, I'm finding sometimes the coaster doesn't fill up because people can't get in the line fast enough. But I guess it's holding up nicely. Get some people off the street at least. Alright, let's go in here and see what we can build. A few things that are new in there. What kind of coasters do we have? Let's see, is there any more of these we could build? I do like the design of these. This one's quite large. Looking for something really cool. This one always does catch my eye, but I don't think we were able to get this guy to fit last time. So, we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I still didn't delete these trees. I forgot to do that. I'm probably going to have to go through and delete most of these as we go through. Let's go ahead and grab a few of them right now. At least clear out this little corner pocket. And then we can throw something big down over here. And then I can build a custom ride that kind of weaves in between it. Arg! Going through and deleting these individually. Such a pain. Why is there no mass delete button? For trees. Let me try something. Yeah, that doesn't do it either. Since we have all that money, let's see if there's any possible way that I can get this thing to work. Because this thing looks really cool. Intensity is kind of high, so I don't know if anyone's going to ride it, but I at least want to make it. Because it looks like a really badass dueling coaster. Synchronized track, whatever you want to call it. One of those things. One of that there things. Go away, trees. Nobody likes you. Nobody needs your oxygen bullshit. Go away. Down with the rainforest. Derpington's world supports destroying the rainforest. That should be an ad campaign that we could run. Oh, there it goes. All right, that's actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. How far up can I move it? Maybe if I get rid of the rest of the trees, I can pack it in here tightly. So I want to leave room for more things. We still have a fair chunk of time left. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Complaining about the nasty paths. As always, I haven't been paying attention to the game for a couple of years. So it's not surprising that things get gross. Go away. Get rid of this guy. All right, let's see if it will fit in this little gap. Okay, fits right about there. Nice. That's pretty cool. I like the color scheme on it, too. Very nice. I'm going to have to throw my entrance and exit over there. Let's get some queue lines set up. Actually, let's uh, run some tests. Considering the elevation, it may be plausible that no one wants to ride this thing. Let's get our get rid of the supports. Let's look at the half height. Ooh, 
this guy around. I'm digging the techno music. Totally awesome. <laughs> Do a line something like that. It really doesn't look like it's that fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's surprising to me that people don't want to or that it has very high intensity. It was already at a 9.8 according to the rating scale. So we'll see how well it holds up in the long run. There's that. Let's hook this guy up as well. This will give some more footpaths for people to walk across so they don't complain about the park being too crowded, as is usual with this crowd. Right there. We'll connect it up. Sweet. Oh, here they come. Everyone's like, more footpaths. We must walk down the footpaths. Did I hear someone say foot baths? I love foot baths. Come on, go over the loop. Is that actually a loop though, or is that just two half bends? It looks a little different than an actual loop. Maybe it's just me. Come on, I want to see those ratings. Give me good ratings. Give me at least under a 10 intensity. And people will actually get on the thing. And my roller coasters has not been fixed. How dare you fix the damn thing already. Where are you? Okay, he's fixing it right now. You just saved your ass. I was about to cancel your contract for $55 a month. See how well you do without any slave labor. Or wage slavery, more like. These things line up quite nicely. But I want to see the dang test result already. Taking a while. I figured by now we'd have a test result. Regardless, I'm still gonna turn it on. We'll see if anyone gets on it. Go ahead and open it for business. Come on, folks. You know you wanna ride this thing. Oh, there goes somebody. So it must not be too ridiculous. It's still ridiculous, but not that ridiculous. Yeah, here come a few people. A few poor souls. Yeah, people will get on this thing eventually. You just have to wait around long enough. All right, so it didn't quite get there. That's good. Uh, but that is a very high nausea level. So people are gonna be puking a lot. We might actually need two handymen up here to deal with it. Puking is bad, okay. I think I've figured it out. Every single person in this park has an eating disorder. They're like puking up all their food all the time. Ridiculous. Yeah, and everybody's getting in line now that they've seen the very high ratings. It's incredibly exciting, though. And that's what really matters. What to build? What to build? Let's see if there's any interesting. Nope, there's nothing for that one. Any cool designs for this guy? This one's pretty cool. But will it fit? That is the question of the day. That's the question of pretty much every episode. Will it fit? And it does not look like it will. I'm gonna build some kind of pre-build for this guy. Cause it's kind of neat. It must fit somewhere. 
I would level out the terrain, but I feel like that's going to cost too much money, and then I'm going to end up not being able to put it down anyway. So forget that. Let's go in here and do something different. Any cool bobsleds? And that one looks interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by your design. Unfortunately, I don't think I could put this one down either. It's not going to fit. That one's not going to fit either. Now this one will fit. There we go. That's kind of cool. It's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Lots of slopes. Sharp turns and such. All right, so we're going to have to probably put the entrance and exits towards the back. I don't think it's going to fit up in the front there. So something like that. Start with our Q line. Let's make it yellow, just to mix it up a little bit. Get a little bit of an extra oomph in the line. And we're gonna take this guy underground. Make it look nice. Check out our foot pads. And we'll just bring it right up the other side. Look fancy. And there we go. One more underground view. And we'll just connect it right up to this other guy. Right over here. Sweet. Time for a little test. Test run, go. You can probably go ahead and turn it on. People will probably get on this. Somebody will. And then I don't have to pay any attention to the test drive anymore. Though I still want to watch it. This brave soul doesn't care about the ratings. He just wants to get on board. We're going to need to clean our paths. Because they're going to get gross. We can't have that. Not today. It's a pretty cool slide. I bet someone's going to die on this thing before the end of the level. Because it's not tied down. It goes really fast. I guess this thing can sustain higher speeds. I just never feel comfortable making these. They always crash. Every freaking time. Yeah, here they come. Here come the cavalry. Get in line, people. Let's give it some music. Play some rock. Our park is getting quite full. Are there any other interesting designs we could squeeze in for this guy? That would fit, but I don't think I want to build that one. This one might fit. Gotta be a spot somewhere. No? Is 
Things can usually go pretty high up in the air, so they're a bit more flexible than your typical roller coaster. But it doesn't look like he wants to go anywhere. This one's so long. Be cool if I could get it to fit somewhere in the middle of the park and it just go all the way across. This guy will fit. What does he do? What do you do? No, he doesn't have very high ratings. Not very exciting. I want something intense and exciting. All right, let's try this one. Let's stick it as far over here as I can. Now that can't go there because it looks like it has two stations. Whoa, that's pretty neat. So it's another synchronized coaster. Does some craziness. Got two giant hills. Test drive time. Let's we'll see this thing in action. Make it red. It'll be red with the blood of my victims from this roller coaster. Extend this out this way, I think. Let's connect him up over here. So I can just take this straight underground. It's a pretty sweet coaster. I like it. I like all these coasters that they have built into the game. Most of them are pretty darn cool and creative. A lot better than I could do. Whoa. Makes some really interesting sounds. Take it down further. the land. Hmm, how are we going to connect it up? Might have to go around. Raise it back up again. Connect up this exit too. Perfect. It's not going to fit. We got to go the other way. See how those test results came out. Very high, perfect. Just where I like it to be. And another handyman. This park is smoking. In a good kind of way, not in a bad kind of way. Oh crap, I need to connect this back up. That didn't go so well. There we go. Now they can get off the ride. Otherwise, they just would have been riding forever. What are you doing? Get off that lawn. Get off my lawn. Get off. And they're already commencing the puke. Everybody's puking all over my stuff already. What is wrong with you people? Huh. Sounded like a crowd was yelling, but I think there's only one guy on there. Jeez, that thing is incredible. Wow, and it even drops you into the station. Some serious whiplash. 
And we definitely want to make sure that we set this to a 10 minute inspection time where people are going to get killed very quickly. This is going to be a brutal, high paced death. I can just imagine them going flying into the station and hitting the car in front of them. Ouch. This guy's doing good business, even for its high intensities. And a lot of people probably won't get on this while it's raining, because they're pansies. Kind of low on funding again. I pretty much dumped all my money into those rides. Let's get another campaign going, shall we? Let's get a campaign going for our new coaster. Campaign for the park. We've almost hit 2,000 people. Free food or drink. Or free drinks. For a particular ride, let's do it for roller coaster number five. It's not getting quite as much love as I'd like. I want the line to be full. Greatest coaster park ever. There's nothing quite like this in real life. It looks so fast. Incredible. Makes really cool sounds, too. What to make, what to make. We don't have any wooden coasters. Let's make a wooden coaster. And yeah, we'll make it from scratch. Actually, we don't have enough money for that. So I don't know how well that's going to work. We may have to wait and do that next time. I think we've kind of run out of expansion capabilities. We still have room, but not enough funding. Let's see, what else do we have in here that we could make? Okay, we got a few things we could throw down. Stick those there. Uh, we got to clean up the park a little bit, too. Throw down some of these other rides that we haven't made. No need for a line. We'll just open them right up. If that's gonna fit. I think that track is in the way. Make a small line. Let's we'll keep it on beginner's mode. Less people puking. Less puke makes for happy nevs. Looks like we're not going to be able to do our balloon tradition. I don't think we have any balloons uh, that are available to us. Let's go in here and see if I can grab them. Shops and stalls. We'll do it like that. Come on now, I just want to get some bumper cars in here. That's not going to work. Have to put it over there. And maybe right there? That might work. Yeah, perfect. Oops, not even in the right ballpark there. Let's check out the pads. Okay, we're already at the right level, so... Just go right into it. And we're open for business. Get on the bumper cars. They're free. Free rides make people happy. Any other gentles? I think we've made just about everything I want to make from there. Only got a few more months left. We need to stick some more drink stalls somewhere. Stick one over here. 
How is the park rating going? What are people complaining about? Okay, we still have a really high rating, but let's go in here and try to clean up some of the gross paths. Set our park on a trajectory for greatness. Oh, geez. There's a nasty spot. You can tell I didn't put any handyman pathing here. Yep, I didn't. That's how I know which spots I missed. A little bit of trial and error. Eventually you figure it out. And you have a nice surprise of people puking everywhere. Let's make sure you guys don't mow the lawn. That would be preferred. Thank you very much. I need another handyman over here. Vandalism is kind of bad, too. I didn't put very many benches down, so... Oh, jeez, people are throwing them in the queue lines, too. I didn't know they could actually trash the queue lines. Considering you can't put trash cans in the queue lines. I'll let you walk around there and clean all that up. And, if you would, please avoid the lawn. Like I said, avoid the lawn. Where are you supposed to be? Where is your post, soldier? Alright, there you go. Just giving you a little nudge in the right direction. And a new handyman right there. I'll just let him roam. He'll find his own way in life. some of this vandalized crap. People just puking. I hear left and right. It's particularly gross over this way. Good job. Alright, I'd say that's sufficient. Park should be looking nice. What exactly does this do? Okay, it's just a map of the park overall. Kind of cool. Alright, we have a max park rating. We have a full park, and I'm not really sure what else to do from this point on, so I think I'll skip to the end of the scenario. What's up, everybody? Oh, gotta turn my sound on. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the finale for Derpington's World. As you can see, I've gone ahead and dropped a ton of balloon stalls freaking everywhere, so we'll be ready for the finale in just a few days. Um, I think we did quite well in this park. We managed to cram a lot of rides in here. Um, I think we turned out more money in this park than we have on any other park so far, mainly due to the entrance fee cost that I jacked all the way through the roof. And people were still saying that the entrance fee was cheap. So I'm thinking you could actually take it all the way up to about 70 bucks. Um, granted, these people won't have a lot of leftover money um, to buy things like food, which could be a problem. So I think 70 would likely be the maximum limit that you could go up to without pissing some people off. Let's see what we've got. Oh man, it's the 25th. We're so close. Look at all these balloons. We get so many people in line wearing balloons. I noticed that people will actually take their food on the ride too. It's kind of strange. I've never seen someone take a piece of pizza onto a roller coaster before. But apparently somebody does it. I don't know if they do it in the real world, but they do it in this game. And that is strange. Here goes that guy. That's a cool coaster. All these coasters are cool. I think my favorite in the... Whoa, excuse me. I think my favorite in the park would have to be either this guy over here with the gigantic drop. Or this guy over here. And this one is really cool. I'd say this is probably number one. And the one over here would probably be number two. Let's catch the drop. That is sick. That is really, really fantastic. This dueling one here is pretty sweet too. All right, two more days, get ready. 
Get ready for the balloons. The balloon madness. It will commence here in a moment. I'm gonna zoom all the way out so we can see all of its glory. We're just waiting. Come on now. One more day. One more day. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, there it is. And the balloons go flying, so let's enter in our name, Nevs. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video on your social medias of choice, including Facebooks, Google Pluses, and Twitters. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Pop this damn balloon. Get him! Get him! Yeah!